Welcome to Jose Z Bike Emporium. Just about every year I build a bike. This year I'm going to restore a donation to the Emporium. This is our new mascot. Let's see what uh, this is all entailing. Looks like it's been sitting out for quite a while. Let's take a look inside. It needs a good cleaning. I'm going to do a full restoration on it. Here's a really cool feature I didn't realize was here. Oh. Quick. Man, that's awesome. Now I can take the uh, the neck and all that off. So I'm going to have to cut and splice. Them guys so I can feed it back through the side of the cooler. Very sweet. What up? Working on the uh, pegs. It's very interesting. These are freaking handle grasp. They're hand grips. Really? And then Surprise. Oops, sorry about my finger. It's kind of whacked. Looks like somebody was in here earlier and extended. I'm sure we can come up with a better system than that. Thought that was interesting. Getting the rear axle and tire assembly off. It is a slip axle. It actually goes out. On side here. Of course, that bearing is stuck on. It should have come with, but it didn't. So now I just got to get that chain off up there. Working on the 50 series cooler, cruising, and uh, I want to take a look inside this control. All right, blah, blah. Jose Z Bike Emporium is working on a 24 volt, 500 watt cruising cooler. Um, just taking it apart, and before I start drilling those rivets out to get it apart because it's all sandwiched in, I want to take a look and see what's inside here. Look at that. Comes apart real easy. As you can see, or should be able to see, it's corroded really bad. That is not going to work. Got no power. Rusted to snot. So, 
Gotta get a new one of those. And I'll work on that for now. Welcome to Jose's E-Bike Emporium. Today I gotta get this apart. They built this and sandwiched it together and they made it a mess. I gotta fix it. Okay folks, today we are working on the 50 Series Cruising Killer. They sandwiched this thing together so you can't get it apart. So now I gotta drill these rivets out so I can get this part from that part, which will then come the other parts apart from this part. Don't try this at home. You poke your eye out. Today at Jose's e Bike Emporium, we are working on the 50 Series Cruising Cooler. When they built this, they just cut the cooler out and they sandwiched the parts together, putting this in the middle of it. The only way to get it apart, drill these rivets. Undo that, pull that other part out. I'm going to drill these things out of there. Watch your eyeballs. Put it in the hole there, baby. Okay, the heads of the rivets are drilled. And remove. So now I take the forming tool. And pop the rest of that one out. Okay. See, now you can go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oops, wiggly, wiggly. Let me flip this sucker over. Get the other side. Try to get it to where you can see. When it out, hit it harder. There. So now I can take it apart. I just replace those rivets with little cap screws and nuts. Good to go. A little lock tight. Good to go. Alright. So that's it. Sort. I got one bolt up here. I gotta I don't know, figure out how to get that out. Trying to get this uh, center bolt off, thrust it up. I think I figured a way to do it. Grab onto a little pair of thingies and wiggle it back and forth. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And come right off. Look at that. That's the way we do it here. Got the whole ZZ back and pour him. Let's see if I can pound that bad boy out of there. Should drop. Should be able to come apart. Look at that, you yes, sir. Gotta get this here out. Couldn't do it with that thing I just wiggled out and broke. And I couldn't do that with part of the axle. So that was riveted in. So now I just gotta, see how, well I got a thingy stuck here cause I turned it. Gotta see about getting that out of there somehow. I'm gonna pause this thing. Hey, look at that, I got it, okay. I 
now the drive assembly is out. A pain in the ass. I'm glad they redesigned it and made the 51 series. So I'm working on this 50 series. And that's how you get that sucker out of there. Now I want to see what this motor can do. Okay, we're back here at the Emporium. I just uh, checked this thing out. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're back at the uh, Emporium. And we are going to bench test this motor. I have, let me see, plug the power into one power terminal. I'm going to touch this to the 24 volt now negative terminal. And look at that. Of course, we got squat for juice, but she works. Now we move on. Okay, I've got the controls for everything, yada yada. Okay, the throttle and brake feeds right through the frame of the cooler, and that's bigger than the hole. So what I gotta do, unfortunately, is we'll yeah, leave ourselves enough but that, that's the brake. Oh, baby. Come here, come here. I can't see you in film. And then, unfortunately, cut the hall sensor. Uh, uh, and we'll try and pull this through. This. Okay, now that it is fully disassembled and all pieces and parts are removed from the cooler portion of the vehicle, I am going to give it a tubby as it is nasty. Give that a tubby. See what I'm going to do with it. Then I got to clean and prep all these parts for reinstallation. E3MX, E1, E2's in the kitchen. Where do you keep your bikes? Mine are in the kitchen and in the living room. Make drop my hat. <laughs>